Hi everyone, I know you're wondering why I'm filming like this. Well, this is here because today we're going to be talking about high tea. I decided to bring in a tumbler slash teacup slash thing I use to contain tea because that's very very relevant to the subject subject we're talking about today. Today we're going to be talking about high tea. And if you have not had high tea, life changing. Everything that everyone should love. It has a savory tear if you've not seen them before. So, <laughs> so I'm at home wondering how I'm going to get my hands on height, and I realized why not I just try to make it myself. So I had a eureka moment, brainwave, and I came up with this. Okay, evidently there's a lot of paper on my table, but basically I made up a high tea menu on my planner where I tried to plan like those savory sweets and stuff that I want in my high tea uh, tier thing, display thing. And so I've decided that for savory, I want... Uh, I thought of getting a lemon meringue tart, a strawberry trifle, a Victoria sponge slice, and cream caramel. So everyone would get like one of each. For scones, I've... last time I made a scone was like a really really long time ago. So I'm gonna have to see how I do all of this and how I serve it because I feel like timing is really important. Certain things have to be served hot and I don't know how I'm gonna do that because I'm not like living in a cafe with like 20 different ovens and 5 different fridges. But we will see. I'm going to be doing a little bit more research into how to make each and every item and I just hope that you find watching me do all of that kind of informative and interesting maybe. By the way, I'm wearing a face mask because I just thought I would treat myself while I'm at home and I did intend to film a video, I just like had a revelation. Hi guys, so today is the first day that I've started working on the recipes for my high tea project. So I started off by making the quiche pie pastry. So this will line the bottom of the quiche and um, basically it's just like really simple like three ingredients like flour, butter and water. That's it. It is my first time making a, a pie for a quiche, like sorry, a, a pie pastry for a quiche. So I'm not too sure how it's going to turn out. Um, I kind of trialed an error along the way because a lot of different recipes say like use a food processor, use your hands, make sure that it's cold or get the warmth in and stuff and I didn't really know which to follow so I just trusted my gut instinct and I'm not really too sure how accurate that is and as you can tell it's probably gonna be a bit noisy in the background because the laundry machine is going but uh, yeah so I rolled it out and I flattened it with a rolling pin and into the cling wrap and let's just hope that after I take this out uh, maybe like one or two days later after refrigerating it that it will be okay for us to use in the quiche hey guys so I am about to make a Victoria sponge I just put in the butter I'm gonna use these tiny little pan thingies so that I can get like a mini size I'll update you guys as I go so right now I'm just following the recipe and measuring out 200 grams of sugar and it's really hard to film and add sugar at the same time so i'm just gonna pause now and tell you in terms of text what i'm doing as we go on so i just wanted to add four eggs i already added one and i'm gonna add the rose water so that i can get a rose victoria sponge i wasn't very careful and i accidentally added in too much flour so i'm going to have to pour in some milk right now to make up for it yep i think that should be enough now i'm just gonna get back to mixing and i'll update you guys Honestly, that was really, really simple. I now have the dough and I'm about to put it into the oven in that pan. Into the oven time. Batch is out and the second batch is in the oven right here. So I'm going to start off by trying to cut off the tops of these. I thought that this would be a pretty useful time lapse for you to see what I'm doing, but turns out the only thing you see is my storeroom. Hey guys, so um, I've just finished cutting off some of the tops of the cakes of the Rose Victoria Sponge. Right, that's what it's called. So, um, the strawberry trifle recipe calls for some angel food cake, and I thought, 
why not not waste uh, the cake that I already have and just put them into jars and get them ready to be turned into strawberry trifles. So that's exactly what I'm going to do right now. Sorry guys, take it as I'm giving you a really unnecessary tour of my storeroom because you can't actually even see what I'm doing here. Guys, so the second batch is out and I just thought I would show you how I take it out from the pan. So just take a tiny little cake fork and go around the sides to price it off the pan. And then I just try and lift it off. I'm trying not to use the fork to scratch the bottom because this is a non-stick pan. I don't want to spoil it. Aha, beautiful. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing here, which is basically I'm taking the tops off the Victoria sponge which rose in the oven and then I'm putting the extras as substitute for angel food cake in the strawberry trifle jars. And hi mom. And I don't really know what's going on at this point, but ha ha ha. Hi guys, so I'm also prepping the butter laminate for the croissants. So what I have is a block of butter. I don't think the recipe calls for this much, but I'm just going to add in the full block anyway because I feel like I'm going to mess some part of it up and probably having more butter is always a good idea. So I'm just going to start uh, doing it on baking paper now and I'll see how it turns so I made the pretty bad mistake of not trying to warm the butter before I started this laminating process but uh, <laughs> here you will see me trying to use anything I can get my hands on to chip away at this block of butter which refuses to be hammered into shape. So I was like using a knife, a spatula, my hands, the rolling pin, more hands, the knife, the rolling pin and it still won't budge. Okay, so after a while, I finally managed to get it down, but I broke the paper parchment trying to do that, so I had to get more paper to cover it, and after a while, I had like four pieces of paper for one piece of butter. Hi everyone, it is a new day, and we are going to be doing new and great things in the kitchen. Okay, not really, but it's going to be working with the dough for the croissant that has already set, as well as the butter laminate, which is currently in the fridge. I'm just going to bring that out for you now. So as you recall, the butter laminate has already set, so um, I'm just going to be working on rolling out the sourdough dough right now and then I will be showing you how I flip it over and over. First thing that you want here is for your butter laminate to be cold, so um, I'm just going to put this back into the fridge because I just brought it out to show you. But I'm going to be rolling out the sourdough first. So now I'm just going to flour the countertop. To see this. Wow. tart shells for the lemon meringue tart and um so basically what happened was i got lazy and i just bought ready-made tart shells that have been frozen because let me just say that i'm already having some trouble with the pie crust for the quiche so i didn't really want to risk it for the lemon tart so uh, what I'm doing now is I'm just cutting out baking paper and putting in a rock collection of mine as paperweights uh, and yeah. Okay, so 
basically this video is a lot of me being really lazy so I looked at the recipe for the lemon filling for the tart and I decided that I would buy my own lemon curd from um, Gourmet Grocery. This is the Tip Tree lemon curd and it's really good on its own but I thought that I would mix it with some milk, like whip it with some milk and gelatin so it holds better and pass it off as lemon filling for the tart. So right now I'm rolling out the pie crust for the quiche that I have here and uh, it's a bit frozen so I'm going to try to roll it out but having some difficulties here. Alright so I'm going to be making the lemon filling right now. I'm doing this by pouring hot water into a mug. I don't even know how much hot water this is honestly. I'm kind of making up my own recipe just based on like what I think works. I'm gonna put like two heaping spoonfuls of gelatin. Stir. Alright then I'm going to open this. I would just like to say that it was incredibly hard to film this while holding my huge ass iPad in one hand. a lot going on in here at this very moment. Uh, I'm mixing up the lemon curd, the pie crust are baking in the oven and I'm going to work on the croissant dough right now. So I'm just going to show you how I fold it over. Okay, so ideally for croissant dough, I watched a few videos and they all said that you have to kind of roll it out to a nice long surface and then fold it over itself in threes, like what you see me doing here, and then pretty much roll that out, flip it over, and then freeze that again until you get it into a very cold, hard, like, ish, hard-ish texture, and then do the same thing three times. Hi guys, so a lot of things happened, like, a lot of things, like, a lot of things happened, and I'm really confused, I don't really know how to explain it to you, but... I'm steaming things and baking things and putting marshmallows on things and baking things and yeah. It was at this point that I had to start making dinner because my mom was visiting my grandma in the hospital so I tried to bake pasta in pasta sauce and uh, nearly burnt down the kitchen. And yeah, another video of me rolling out dough. You're probably super bored of watching me do this by now but it was really tiring and strenuous and I just want you to appreciate the amount of work that I put in, okay? Hi hey guys, so my mom is not home and we have no idea where everything is so we've just been texting my mom about everything and we went on like a 10 minute hunt to find the sugar Little family treasure hunt in kitchen I honestly have no idea why I just filmed that last scene and also why I am currently filming this time lapse because you can barely see what I'm doing here but let me try to explain to you I am currently trying to do the strawberry trifles so I am macerating strawberries while trying to put strawberries in jars and whipping cream and filling and then putting the successful whipped cream on top of the macerated strawberries in the jars. That's exactly what I'm doing. Hi guys! So a lot has happened since I last checked in. So I did a bit of kneading and the croissants are done. Even though honestly they don't really look like croissants. I'm trying to get a closer look in on it. Yeah, they really don't look like croissants. I don't really know what went wrong because I followed the recipe to a T. I really am not sure how I managed to screw this up, but we will see. Mmm, it tastes like croissants. So here I have the dough for the scones, which I just about kneaded out. There's a lot of good arm work makes up for the lack of exercise that I've been having this stay home season. So basically this recipe was one that I got from Jamie Oliver's uh, food channel and I just followed that and hopefully the scones will turn out really nice. If it doesn't go well, I blame Jamie Oliver. Hey guys, so this is my slightly gnarly looking plate of croissants. As you can see, it 
it's not very typical looking but I did struggle a bit with it because it's sourdough I think because as you can see the dough is still a bit like stretchy and yeasty at some parts I don't really know how to explain it I'm not sure if you can see but yes around 2.40 a.m. and I'm about to try my coddled egg with croissant flakies my mom is also trying it <laughs> how's it mom? okay good morning of the day itself and I'm gonna be working on the egg mayo sandwiches oh gosh it's going everywhere oh okay you know what let's take a look at the scones they're a bit flat so I decided to double them in size and yeah and below that are the quiches which are baking I got some deli ham and here we have the coddled eggs which are in the middle of steaming. My sister is outside working on the jelly for the Osmantas green tea jelly. And I'm just gonna be doing the sandwiches in here. All right, so a lot has happened since I last checked in. So the Jibon 8 from March quiches are done. I hope I said that correctly. And then, um, so these are the Victoria's bundles without jam. And then these are the sourdough croissants that I worked on, which I will talk more about in another video. And ta-da! So, as you can see, these are strawberry truffles, these are the rose Victoria sponges, these are a green tea osmanthus jelly that my sister made, that's the lemon marshmallow tart, so those are the pile of scones, that's the egg mayo sandwiches with truffle, these are the quiches, super cute. And those are the croissants, total egg with mashed potato. Can you see it? Yeah. These are the crusts for you to dip into the coddled egg. And this is one of the croissants with ham and cucumber. please give a big thumbs up and subscribe and I will be filming this mukbang with my sister and posting it as a separate video so hope you guys subscribe so that you can see that and let me know if you like to see more videos like these